This video is for Josh reviewing his floor plan from the Pankow CAD course spring 2021 semester. So this is a little bit different. Um, we are going to be looking at his digital portfolio pictures and he's got his entire layout set here. Uh, main floor, second floor, roof plan laid over top. And then these very, very impressive elevations, you know, especially the front and rear. Um, all four of them really are impressive. Um, so he probably did one of the more challenging homes. One of the things I tell the students is that, you know, the more little bump outs and kickouts you have in your home, the tougher your roof will be, you know, which comes with the roof plan and the elevations. And um, <clears throat> this is his main kind of picture that he will showcase. So I will flip through and um, we are going to look for his main first floor as we point out some things. And again, I have the students make a house account to brainstorm ideas that they'd like to bring in. And he wanted a very, very um, formal, balanced um, porch and foyer. So you can see the double staircase um, with the turn and the landing. And again, an entry point straight back into the, the great room. Um, open hallway as he goes through <clears throat> his kitchen. Um, we we went through the process and he found out it's quite large and he was just going to keep it so we added a kind of a two island kitchen so a prep and a serving and i think he was happy with that with the um, informal dining here i'll see if i can zoom in a little bit and move around and um one of the aspects i really liked was this little open situation here he's got some seating on another layer where it just turns this utility space where you come in from the mudroom and you have this long hall and it gives it some character and, and some look and then he's got his half bath and his coat closet here off that so this is divided it's really like its own space and then this is its own space i, I like that design garage um a little kick out with the balance you know, some students just kind of make a straight shot. So he put some, some depth on it, which uh, attention to detail, I, I appreciate and should be acknowledged. Um, you know, I stress about mudrooms. You know, I have two boys and the family entry, the family foyer, family mudroom is never big enough. So I talk about really thinking through this idea. So he's got a bench here. Uh, he's got a bench here. He had a second garage, a cool feature. So maybe classic cars or boats or whatever. And these houses are large. We designed big houses. He's got the laundry room back here. Um, and there's a closet and um, <clears throat> not sure that one's for. But again, it's, this is a good flow. The doors all open in the right directions and it's it's secluded. And then as we go kind of the other wing of the house, he's got this master suite, a little bit of a recessed door entryway to a double door, tray ceiling, sliding door in the back. Uh, one of the features that I talked to them about is a lot of times a great room is going to be formally decorated and they don't want to have some high traffic flow going through that space. So you can put your sliding doors in other spots um, and find those natural thorough, thorough ways like right here and right here and tie your doors into that, which you did. This is the basement staircase entry. Um, and then we go back to the master suites and um, <clears throat> he put this on, it's a nursery and it could become a home office later on so i like that idea it's it's cool you don't see that very often and then um closets his and hers and through the bathroom and then the, the water closet out in the front so and then a back covered porch which is um accessible from uh, the garage and the the um informal dining area as well. Um, probably needs a staircase somewhere in there. So I'm going to um, go look for the second floor. So we'll zoom out and go kind of skip some of these and I'm gonna hunt for the second floor. I'll come back and there we go. Um, so porch, some posts again open to below in the foyer. So there's your railing, he comes up and he's got this long center hallway. We talk about that a lot. A loft over top of that bay window just it's a fantastic design how it's centered and as you walk and you see the space the light from here fills that room and it's you know one of the first things that you would go up and see it's just a great design 
Um, then um, he's got the two two bedrooms here with the different views, closet, closet. Um, and then they have a bathroom that they share from the accessible from the hallway, theater room upstairs with the trade ceiling, uh, media, theater, whatever, but well done. No windows in there. So that's a detail that he, he remembered. That's good. Uh, nothing above the garage. That's fine. Um, home office. So we did talk about that. Like your nursery could be a home office later, but we had to put something there. So a little closet. And then uh, a guest suite. So master, um, like a, just another suite for possibly a guest that's away from the kids. Um, so one of the things that we talked about was that his, you know, he did not have to put his second floor entirely up above his first. So he's got all these setbacks and then he kept the the first floor roof on. And so if we go over to the roof plan, we can see how that played out for him. And this was uh, probably the most technical thing that he had to deal with. And in green is his top story. So lots of hips running through everything. And then the blue represents anything that's on the first story. So he's got a lot of just shed roofs that are coming right off the walls um, in various angles and, and it was very technical. And then the garages is the gabled peak lower with the second uh, gable right in front. So as a teacher, I appreciate that. We walked through, we did a lot of it together. Um, and I, I appreciate that he um, understood the majority of it. But as somebody who's looking, what does that mean? What does this blue and green lines mean? It transfers to these elevations. And so you can see that everything makes sense. Everything is covered. It's very balanced. It's very beautiful. Um, and we just color code it so that we know what goes where. So um, it needs, it's, it's, I enjoy pointing it out. So it's a lot of good work. And then I ask students to take a couple of close ups. So I've already detailed some stuff out, but the, the part that you're seeing is the uh, lighting that he thought about everywhere. When we talk again um, about small circles of the cans, media, medium ones would be domes, and if you have large ones, those would probably chandeliers and stuff like that. And then I'm just going to buzz through and see if there's anything that I have missed. And then the, the zoom on that. So this is this is a great job. Um, I'm just really proud of my students, really proud of, of Josh and all of them that they've worked um, basically for an entire marking period, two hour block. Um, and we have extended hours this year because of COVID. So it's it would be equivalent to an entire semester's worth of work in a normal class that the students put into this. Um, so again, Josh, to you specifically, great job and good luck.